In late May 2015, the highest volcano in the Galapagos Islands erupted for the first time in 33 years. The explosive eruption at Wolf Volcano on Isabella Island sent volcanic gases and ash roughly 15 km 50,000 feet into the sky, while lava flowed through the fissures, down eastern and southeastern slopes, and eventually reached the sea. In early June, the sulfur-rich lava flows on the slopes appeared to subside. This image of Wolf was acquired on June 11, 2015, by the Advanced Spaceborne Thermal Emission and Reflection Radiometer Faster on the Terra satellite. The false color image combines near-infrared, red, and green light faster band 3 to 1 with vegetated areas appearing in red and lava generally appearing charcoal or black. From June 12 to 16, Seismologists from Ecuador's Instituto Geofísico Escuela Politécnica Nacional IG detected increased activity inside the caldera near the southern rim. The 7 km or mile wide caldera is nearly 700 meters deep. New lava is paving over deposits that were laid down in a 1982 eruption. Wolf is a shield volcano with relatively broad but gentle slopes like a Polynesian warrior shield where one lava flow tend to spread out across previous flows. The volcano rises 1,710 meters 5,609 feet above sea level, sitting near the equator and the top of volcanic hot spot. In the early days of the 2015 eruption, conservation groups feared for the safety of the rare species of pink iguanas which are only found on Isabella Island, and for the local population of giant tortoises and yellow iguanas. Neither species has been endangered so far by the eruption because ash and lake have tended to flow east and southeast, while the animals lie mostly to the north and west of the summit.